presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Had a great July 4th, and let's kick into July in a big way. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements here. Let's see what we got up here. Okay. Love is what makes you happy. And if you become a servant of love and your partner becomes a servant of love, the day will come when each of you can, each you, and the day will come when you can be with each other with no guilt, no blame, no anger, and no sadness. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 241. NASDAQ's up 150. S&P's down six. Gold contract down, trading down $34, 1766. Silver's off 48 cents, $19.18 an ounce. Light sweet crude down $9.13 at $99.30. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note up 18 ticks, trading 119.26. The 30 year up a full point, plus 19 ticks at 140.30. And King Dolly. Are you ready for this one, folks? Okay. Uh, where are you, King Dolly? It's, I think it's trying to hide on me, folks, because you talk about an expansion. King dollar up 1,358 ticks, 106.496. Euro is at 119. Yen's at 135.76. And the British pound is at 119 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you get an S&P that got down today to a price point of... Uh, 372, you reject lower price, you are going to have light of volume. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see where this can bounce to. It would have been a lot better if it actually hit the uh, 372.56. The 372.56, folks, is the low that was established out here last Thursday. Hey, we'll see if they can get any juice. So we get a contraction of volume tomorrow, which I suspect we are. This is just a consolidation uh, at lows. We're going to take a look at the NDX 100. The, that, the end, now, the NDX, bottom line, does lead you down, does lead you up, all of the above. That was the first one. This, this caught a bit out here, man. There's no doubt. You got the NDX. It rejected 276. You're up 10 points from them. You're at 286. You're only up four points for the day. But the bottom line, that is saying that, you know what, this thing is going to basically get into the last swing. And the last swing up here was 296. Now, the same is applicable on this, however, meaning that what you have here is that you did come down on Thursday, you didn't retest that area. We take this and we put this on, let me see what this looks like on a weekly. Yeah, on a weekly, it's, yeah, this is still just a bounce. On a weekly, you, you got too many high volume lows that uh, bottom line, you know, and you got the ABC structures on the way down. Gold, well, yeah, let's go to the gold contract because the bottom line, we we're talking about this last week and you know, the bottom line is that uh, it, the thing that was intriguing, okay, so if you were in front of a machine this morning, what you had out here is that the dollar had already moved and gold was only down $3. And I'm saying to myself, this ain't going to fly, man. It's just, you know, you're not going to see the dollar up a thousand ticks, you know. But, hey, listen, it could have happened. There's no doubt. Bottom line, uh, gold's down. It's down with big volume. And I suspect we probably, let me put the GLD up. We probably have an ABC down. Let's put this GLD up. Okay, so let's see what this is busting. Put this on a weekly. Okay, so, well, next move down is 157. You're at 164. Yeah, lower price is coming at us, man. I mean, big time. 
Now, let's go to King Dollar and take a look at King Dollar. When you see King Dollar, folks, uh, the bottom line, this 121 is game. Uh, and it's game in spades. I mean, this thing just took apart the swing point like a piece of butter. You know, 105, uh, 788 is the swing. And when you do take a look at this, you know, at the end of the month, it, it closed over it. It closed over this three tops. And that's saying that, you know, the next swing uh, is 121. So 121 is coming at us. And the thing that's amazing is that, so picture this. Uh, don't, okay. Uh, the 121, folks, that's when I started the gold report. And that was in 2001. Is that crazy? We're, we're 2022. And of course, you know, bottom, this is a clean break, man. This is a clean break. Uh, your downdraft, the bottom of that downdraft is 108 going all the way back to 2002. So my take is that well, that's where we're going, man. We're going up there, and of course, that is going to take all asset values that are priced in dollars uh, to lower lower price. That's what it comes down to. The correlation is pretty direct. And what you're going to see out here, oil is an ABC structure down. You got your A point is 120, almost 121. Your B's, that's yeah, about 20 A to B, which is going to get you uh, 94. And right now you're at 99. Yeah, more than likely the the, the Major swing is down here at 91. I suspect it's going to go to 91. If we take a look at this. Let me just look at this for a second. So if I take this, this might be even heavier than that. One second. Take this. Yeah, this is a problem, man. What is this? Holy cow. So you, we, we broke with conviction, man. That's the bottom line. You broke with conviction. So... The bottom of this is 92 bucks, man. You break 92 and we're going to go a lot lower. That's how it's shaking out. Some of the higher volume equities out here today. Uh, we have uh, Advanced Micro is up 94 cents. You got uh, Carnival up 44. Amazon's up 374. NVIDIA's up 374. These aren't big numbers, by the way, um, <laughs> for being down. Uh, what, this is what, well, hey, let me go through the rest of these first. You got Occidental uh, down uh, two bucks. The... Let's see, uh, Freeport Mac Moran's down another $1.75. You got Micron up $2. We got Tesla up 12. And let's get over, if, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to Freeport Mac Moran. Let's take a look at this. Uh, okay, so FCX, this is, so copper really start getting hit before the rest of these commodities, folks. And, okay, so this is six months. You're down from 51 to 27. We put this on a monthly. It's in tough shape, that's for sure. It was a one-way route all the way up, and now it's all the way back. So the longer this thing stays under 29.97, the more that, okay, it can get back to this uh, $20 level. It's pretty intense, man. 877-927-6648. You stay right there, folks. You get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming back with us. He's going to be growling and prowling with us. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now are down 219. NASDAQ's up 146. S&Ps are off four and a half. We'll come right back, folks. Booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We're talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading uh, down 253. We get the NASDAQ up 133. S&Ps are off 10. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the left-hand side. You just hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Uh, now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. And when you get over there and you get Basil's newsletter, what you're also going to get is approximately 10 to 11 archives Great education. Huge education. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I hope you had a good uh, fourth. Yes, and I hope you did, too. It was great. St. Yes, Pete uh, had beautiful fireworks. We were, and I know Boston always does. That's for sure. Thank you. Yes. Totally. That's for sure. Fun weekend. Fun it weekend. Was. No doubt. It was. So, what are we looking so at? Yeah, this is very interesting. We're looking at the Dow, um, and the Dow has come back from a very sharp earlier decline. What I really want you to focus on was the QQQ, which is the NDX 100. Okay. Um, over the last few days, I've been studying this very carefully because we've had positions um, in the QQQ, actually the three times long, uh, TQQQ a couple of times, as well as uh, one of the indices, uh, an ETF. Which is uh, which has most of the beaten down stocks. Uh, so I made a decision um, when it was the last night. I said, you know what? Tomorrow morning, I let me study the charts. But if there's a, there's some kind of a sell off, I think the QQQ from everything I'm looking at, the the uh, index 100, Invesco QQQ Trust series, it looks as if from the candle, the Doji candle on Thursday. And then a nice green candle and basically an inside day on uh, Friday. Oh, have I not got my charts up? That was silly. Let me just do this if you don't mind. I'll do it as we're speaking. Screen. There we go. Screen. Click. There it is. Okay. So um, I, th I think you can see the charts. They should be coming up any minute. And what we're looking at is that one of the techniques I use is I draw trend lines. And if they're two narrow little trend lines, like a little mini channel, yes. I'm not sure if you've got that, uh, that becomes either a support, I call it a Chapman Wave inside track 
support level or propellant range or a repellent. And every time we've got into this particular uh, set of lines, declining trend line, it's been a repellent. But the nine period moving average, the pink line on the left side, the daily chart, is starting to improve and has got this W formation that has the potential to cross positive. If it does that, it needs very much to challenge and then take out this downtrend line, little green line, at about 289. Let's call it 290, and here we are at 285, up 3.60. And that's going to be very important because it'll be the first time that it's decisively taken out this trend line. That's really important. And the MACD is improving. Stochastics lagging. The on-balance volume has just now turned up. So this is very early in this particular stage. Now, the question I had recently was, uh, have I seen uh, buy signals possibly go to buy modes and then a failure pattern that didn't correct it itself and continued as a buy mode? So that would be the case here in the QQQ if well, today's Tuesday. If by Thursday we're actually trading at 292 to 293, then there's a really good chance that we've turned the corner here and finally the QQQs can have a decent bounce. So we're fortunate in the position that we have today. Uh, so far, we're up over 3% and the general market is down. And then there was another one. I thought I'd mention this because you've got the tiger, the end of the tiger dollar sale. And I thought, well, I'll just show the type of work that I do. So there's a stock that I've followed periodically over the years. And then over the uh, last week, actually, it came up as uh, something that has the potential to make a cup formation, one of the patterns I always look at. But no matter how I counted it, uh, on the left side was a peak B, but inside it had a peak A, B, C, and even went to a D. It was a really nice candle, and this is Sun Opta Inc. It's plant, fruit-based uh, foods, beverages, organic ingredient sourcing, non-GMO food products, and packaging. It had it had once gone from the single digit from about one all the way to 17 back in February 2021. And then it just every month, it just went to lower highs and lower lows. But this is the first time and I said to subscribers, it seems to me this fits in the category of people who say to themselves, hey, this is something I, I want to be able to afford. This is something I, I have. I've made a, a determination that this is in my a food category or whatever it is that that pertains to their ecological look at, at things and I thought it, it could survive any uh, a very big appreciation in the uh, as we've been looking at in inflation and this one says if this is a product that you use maybe you'll keep using it so we were fortunate we got a dip today we wanted it under 818 we got it at 817 and here it is at 874 it's about six and a half percent up and this goes into the category for my subscribers that i have called screamers these are single digit stocks that we look at and we try to get them either on a dip or a gap up and then raise the stop as it goes up and and there's a possibility even that we don't treat it as just a real quick winner but something that we can hold. And this actually fits into the category. If you see the weekly chart is trying to test the 901, $9.01 cent high of October of 2021. Beautiful cup formation, MACD is good, stochastic good. So this is a, a stock that has the potential to go even higher, but uh, we wanted it to treat it first as a screamer and certainly up uh, for us about 6%, 7% now uh, is very important. And that's, that's kind of what we're looking at. So nice. within the... The portfolios that I try to give for my subscribers to my opening call, we can have triple digit stocks, we can have things all over the range. But like today, I said we'll, we'll buy a triple long that was on the queues and we will buy this one, a very low priced one at, at $8. And uh, that's the kind of mix I like to have for subscribers. And folks, it's, it's very easy to get Bowser's newsletter. You just come over to our website at TFNN and you're going to go uh, bottom line under newsletters. You'll see the opening call right on the left hand side. You hit that button and you are off to the races. And I believe we still have the Tiger Dollar sales up, but it will be down today. So <laughs> if you want to get some Tiger Dollars and uh, save some bread, uh, this is the way to do it right here. It's going to be intriguing watching this whole deal shake out uh, with this dollar, Basil. You know, I mean. Yeah, oh, the, yeah, the dollar, um, as you know, we've been long since 2018 at 90. This dollar, the break, this is like 17, 18 years high. Yeah. Um, right. but, it is, but it is, I've called it a leg D in the daily, leg D in the weekly, only a leg C in the monthly, and that implies mm -hmm. it should still go higher over the period of 2022. Well, let's get, we'll get all those euros together, folks, with the dollars at 
121, where I think it's going. You're going to get euros at 87. We all can go to the Amafi Coast or wherever else you want for a oh. very nice vacation for not a lot of bread, oh, man. That would be fantastic, <laughs> right. Actually, uh, it's a great thing. You know, when I go to visit, I haven't been for a long time, but I'm originally from South Africa. When I go back, yes. all my friends that go back, it's like a, a, a 1 to 13, the ratio, 1 to 15. It's, I mean, you can have a fantastic meal. The Randall, for, yeah, exactly. Like $30 with the best wine or whatever, yeah. Wild. Yeah. Okay, man. Well, listen, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow, Basil. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now uh, trading down 190. Nasdaq's up 160. S&Ps are just about flat. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down uh, 165. You get the NASDAQ up 171. S&Ps are flat. And let's go uh, over to the uh, silver market and take a look at the silver because the bottom line is that these metals are getting uh, basically smoked in general. Uh, S-I-L-V. Sorry, one second, folks. I'm getting it. Where is it? Contract. There we go. I got it. Okay. So, 1915. One-way move, man. SLV. We pull up the SLV. Well, it's going to be a little, uh, no, it's, it's pretty intense, actually. Uh, and the XAU and the HUI. Let me show you something, but I want to look at the silver contract first. So silver, yeah, you broke out of the range. You got underneath, well, no, yes. So this car, yeah, 1776 we're at. That broke 18. 
That's going to be a problem. So now watch me put this. These things, the, the XAU is just above the, uh, I got to put this on uh, continuous now. Oh, no, I don't hear. One second. I see what's going on. Okay, so. This is the SLV. So 1661 is game, man. 1661. If we go to the XAU and the HUI, this is not good looking, folks. Just give me that little warning at the beginning because. So if we take a look at the XAU first. This is what you have happening. You're coming into the top of the March low. Okay, so the, the, the bar is 105.21. We hit 105.96. Now the bottom of that bar is 62. Now here's the problem. That's the XAU. We go to the gold bugs index, and this is where, this is pretty amazing. This is where the gold bugs index picked up actually that this dollar wants to keep going higher and physical gold wants to go lower. Because physical gold, well, the XA, the HUI, okay, which is the gold bugs index, meaning that what happens is that you can't be in the HUI if you sell forward more than six quarters of your production. And you can see right now we're 216. We're down ten and a half dollars, right? Well, here's the problem. The top of that bar from the March 2020 low is 245. And right now, bottom line, you know, we're into this bar by $19. Well, the bottom of the bar is 142. So, you know, bottom line, I'd be really careful in in the market in general, but in the metals market also, because uh, the bottom line is that this baby um, wants to get down to that level. That's what it comes down to. And we, okay, so one second. I, I will get this. this. My screen's stuck evidently, but I'll get it one second. Let me see this thing here. I'll go like this. What is that one? Yeah, you have it now, though. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Um, so the bottom line is that that's where this thing wants to go. And the dollar, bottom line, that's, it wants to go higher. Now, if we look at oil, what you're going to see with oil, you know, bottom line, this has topped. You know, we made it to, what do we make it to? We made it to 123. This is ripping apart the swing point today, has volume behind the move. Um, you know, it's a 22, 21A to B. That's going to bring you down to 96, but your swing point is 92. So I suspect you're going to get right down to 92. Now, what always seems to happen, folks, is that, you know, bottom line, we swing too much one way, swing the other way. We'll see how this shakes out at this 92 area. You know, what you, what you do have out here now um, is, <laughs> as is, you know, the recession fears are basically their head is getting a little bit higher. That's the bottom line. Uh, and we take a look at this on a longer term basis. I can see where these folks are saying, okay, 75, 65. 75 is the highs before we did that monster downdraft and went negative by 40 bucks. Um, and we've, we've traded a lot there. You know, the 65 is right before we dumped. It was 65, right? That was February before the March 2020 uh, level on the way down, but that's where it looks like it's going to go. And um, it's taking everything with us. That's the bottom line. You know, we're talking about, if we go to the uh, XLE, you know, we take a look at the XLE, what you're going to see out here, there's sellers in spades. Uh, that swing point's not an ABC down because the we needed 56 million to own 30, 30, 39 at this point. We put this on a weekly. We're going to find some support at this level, 60, well, 69 to 65, you know. But that being said, what you can see with all of these, when you break down this heavily, you know, bottom line is that I can make the case that the XLE now is going to 51. That's what it comes down to. That's, that's how these things work. When you break a trend with conviction, and conviction, folks, is wide price spread, accelerated volume. And what we did, basically three weeks, four weeks ago now, that's how we broke that line. We broke that trend line. So it's saying, hey, man, that's, that's where it wants to get down to. So 
Uh, let's go take a look at a couple of the big dogs, Exxon Mobil, Chevron. Exxon holding price today. You know, a bottom line it is holding price here. Let's see, set this up on a weekly. Yeah, it held price at the first place that it should. You know, you, uh, basically 83, 84. You can see we had traded there for five or six weeks uh, going sideways. Chevron, CVX is going to be the same deal. This is off its highs. Whoops, how did that happen? One second. No, this is off its highs. We take a look at this also on the weeklies. Yeah, this thing wants to go back to 131. You're at 141. You know. So, you know, there's there's another commodity down the tubes. Now let's go take a look at copper. So the copper contract. That's trading at 343. And wow, man, look at this. HG1. Let's do it this way. Take the generic contract, put this baby up. Okay, so I'm putting this on a monthly contract. So we reached. 501 a pound, you're at 342, yeah. This is on its way to 302. And the other side of the eight, we'll see if 302, uh, 302 holds. The thing that we're, you're looking at here, and this is what's kind of intriguing about the market, the recession, what type of recession, how long is it gonna be, and what does it actually do? What I've found is this, the we haven't had a recession in so long, folks, that there's plenty of folks that have never seen a recession. And then when you look at them, there's plenty of recessions that have only lasted, you know, the last one we had was two months in 2020, okay? It was two quarters, rather. Um, that was fast in and out, no big deal. My take, this is a whole different dynamic. And, and the reason it's a whole different dynamic is that the Fed can't stop raising rates because inflation is still raging. Well, it's not raging like it was three months ago, that's for sure. And the com drop in commodity prices make a difference. But guess what? They make a difference, but then people start losing their jobs, then that makes a difference, and now it's just like a pump. When you pump, 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 you get it pumped up, that's good. Well, guess what? The pumping and the suction is down. And that's the spiral. And we're gonna be in that spiral for a while. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 182. You got the NASDAQ up 172. S&Ps are flat. And folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, this is it. You know, it's July 5th, a uh, July 4th sale. Bottom line, when, you know, it's over tonight, midnight. If you'd like to, uh, if you have any product at TFNN, any newsletters, you plan on getting any newsletters, this is a great way to save a lot of money. And the way it works is that we have three different levels that you can get. Uh, you can buy $500 worth of Tiger Dollars and that you get an additional $100 or a 20% bonus. You can buy $1,000 and that gives you a $1,300 total, a $300 bonus of 30%. And the max you can do is $1,500. And that will give you an additional $600 or $2,100 or a 40% bonus. So check it out in the front page of TFNN. If you have product right now, it's a great way to just put the target dollars to your product. Uh, bottom line, you're getting product in the future. Great way to save a lot of money. There's no two ways about that. We're going to take a look at this market. And bottom line, you're going to level out on the market. Let's go to uh, Keith in Cedar Rapids. Hey, Keith, what's going on? Hey, Tommy. Uh, wanted you to look at SWKS, please. So you get SWKS, this is Skyworks Solutions, the low is 88, the high is 197. Uh, this is a semiconductor maker, uh, bottom line, does a lot of business with Apple, and this pays a 2.4% dividend. Okay, so you're looking to buy this, yes? I'm in it. I just haven't, I haven't, I've sold a little bit. Okay. Um, but I'm just kind of determining what to do with it. Well, I mean, the way that you can trade this, I guess, is, you know, keep get a stop under like 88.76, the last low. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, my take is not much here, man. I mean, you know. Yeah. And this yeah. has been a straight line right. move down from, since 193. So I, I, I get it, you know, but yeah. It, yeah. No, I, you're playing with I fire. Kind of That's the that. bottom line. But. Hey, uh, would you mind looking at Verizon? VZ. Let's go take a look. You got Verizon. Uh, oh, no. V no, Verizon. Verizon. Yeah, VS. No, VZ, right? Oh. VZ, yeah. Yeah, I just hit the wrong button. Okay, so you get Verizon. The low is 45. The high is 56. Now, what happens with Verizon, folks, which is really cool, they pay a 5% dividend. So, you know... Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I've always liked this. Well, you know what, you know, you may or may not, uh, I still have all of these equities. My mother used to work for AT&T. So oh, the man. bottom line is that I still have all these equities. My God, I, I, yeah. That being said, for I've always liked Verizon. I mean, the, the phone companies themselves, you know, for a longer term deal, they're all, it's, they're always paying like five, four and a half, five and a half percent dividends. So, you know, if you can take the going back and forth, you know, they're not bad setups, man, particularly in a bad market. Do you know what I mean? So this has to get by, the, you know, that last high out there with that 52, you know, but they, they trade in these monster consolidations, man. You know, you just have to, you know, you can see this one. I mean, look, we've been at the same price since uh, 2013, right? But guess yeah. what? You know, you pay, you're getting five percent every year, so you know. Right, right. You know, not not a bad setup. 
Appreciate it, Tom. I have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Mm-hmm. Let's go to a Bill in Puerto Rico. Hey, Bill, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? Hope all is well. Uh, everything's been good. I hope everything's good with you, man. A- absolutely, absolutely. Cool. So we're um, going to take a look at Overstock, right? I appreciate it. Okay, so let's take a look. The low is 24, the high is 111. Um, even at this price, which is pretty amazing that it's got smoke. You can imagine how big the, the P.E. actually was, because even at this price, the P.E. is still 20, which is pretty wild. So now let's put this up. Put it on a weekly. Okay, so get back inside 2482. Well, I mean, if you are you gunning for like 34 or something, the other side of the swing, Phil? Is that what, I mean, Bill, is that no, what you're doing? No, no I, I traded it uh, last year. Uh, I, I got it under 10 and, and sold it up above 60. You know, it's coming back down. I'm looking for an entry. They get some cash on the balance sheet and they're nimble. So when the other retailers get smoked, I, I'd like to take a swing with this one. So I'm looking to start, you know, nibbling at it. I figured I'd give you a call first. This is really cool, man, what Phil is saying. So picture this, folks. So, yeah, this is intriguing, man. You know what? If you get a chance, folks, okay, there's, if you Google um, in the Wall Street Journal today, right, there's an article, and this is what it's about. And this is what Overstock, you know, bottom line is when they can make a lot of money. Because that the retailers are so, their inventory is so huge, is that what has happened now is that companies like Overstock, okay, um, are not uh, actually buying the retail, you know, clothes, uh, chairs, lawn equipment, all of this, and they're buying it, and it never even reaches the store. What has happened is that a lot of these large stores, folks, have so much inventory that they're selling it to places like Overstock prior and then Overstock is actually picking up the containers at the ports. So you might have something there, Phil. I mean, the bottom line, yeah, you can, you can step into that. When you get that article, when you read that article, you'll probably buy more. You're, you're going to get me intrigued in this because I've seen this before when what does happen? So this is like the acceleration. You know, I was just saying that the pump is on the way down. So this is part of the acceleration, folks. What ends up happening is that the inventories are so big. If the biggest stores are selling this off prior to getting to the stores, that reduces the price of a lot of these things as long as you hunt for them. And that's when, you know, Overstock can make some money because the bottom line. And now what's also happened with Overstock, and this is what you want to keep in mind, is that Overstock also my holds Bitcoin. You know, so, um, you know, that thing has got, you know, toasted and roasted. And, you know, I mean, if the market yeah, gets a little bounce, Bitcoin will probably get a little bounce, too, you know. Yeah, on another note, Tom, they, they own a company called T0. Instead of the T plus three-day settlement yep. with the DTCC, yep. they, want to, they want to make trade as the settlement. Um, the head of that company was the head of ICE for 15 years. Okay. And he and he did a lot. When you get a chance, look into the, the head of T-Zero. I will. And, uh, you know, the top brass. You might be interested in that. And, and if I may, Tom, one more thing off subject. I own a bunch of properties in Byron, Georgia, Valdosa, Georgia. Okay. Um, you know, they're all free and clear properties. They're, they're kind of high end. Yep. And I'm having a lot of trouble with the real estate attorneys there. Anybody you could recommend or, or anybody you know you could put me in contact with, you'd be doing me a solid because I'm flying blind here. Yeah, it's, you, you have and to. You I mean, it? I get a great attorney here, but you have to get that attorney where you're doing business in the real estate business. Right. For sure. Yeah, you because don't know anybody off the top of your head that's licensed in Georgia or has and reciprocity there? I don't. But I'm, okay, I'm no happy problem. to. Phil, I, I will ask my attorney tomorrow if she knows anyone there, for sure. Hey, I, I appreciate it, Tom. You have a great one. Have okay, a safe man. One. Have a great one and a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 171. NASDAQ's up 171. S&P's are flat. We'll come right back.
The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down uh, 171. Nasdaq's up uh, 179. S&P's a flat. Let's go take a look at the Dow first. And uh, bottom line is that, you know, market-wise, uh, you had a lot of rejections of lower price out here, including the Dow. Uh, Dow got down to uh, 30,355 and uh, went ahead 600 points. Uh, the SPY, we take a look at the SPY out here. You do have a rejection of lower price. Uh, bottom line, you're going to get some kind of a bounce out of here. Uh, it's going to probably try to go to the highs of the last swing out here, which is that three, uh, 395 uh, area and the NDX 100. And the, the bottom line, folks, this is still bottom line building cause for the next leg lower. That, you know, <laughs> uh, this is going to be a long, drawn out affair. Uh, inside of the queues, yeah, you're up $4.50. It actually was a $10 move from the lows to the highs. We hit 376, you're at 380, with 276 low today. You're at 286. Bottom line is going to try to get up into this uh, 296 again. And we'll see what kind of strength it has as it tries to get up there. If we go look inside, because <coughs> it was the NDX that took off this morning. So these are the stocks that basically took it off from. Mercado Libre, that's up 9%. Well, that was going down forever. Zoom, same thing, up 8.3%. Lululemon, up 75 and let me just go in this. I'm going to go and look at Mercado Libre and Lululemon just for a second. So Mercado Libre, that's not bad. No, that's that's only a you know a one percent. That's that shot position is nothing. We go take a look at Lululemon, 
And that's a nice move off the bottom. And then only has a 2% sharp position. So the, both of those moves are good moves, man. That's the bottom line. Someone came into them. And, you know, yes, that is going to be, uh, this is realistically the last day of window dressing, folks. You know, they're back from vacation, loaded up, see how we go, and, and we go from there. Always, oh, don't forget the, the Tiger Dollar Sale, folks. This is the last chance to get the Tiger Dollar Sale until next uh, Christmas. So, bottom line, if you want to save some money, check it out at TFNN. And always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.